Hi hey everyone, this is JR. Another mail day today. Um, without really knowing for sure, I think this one's off of eBay. Package here. Get a little dicey dice on there. Bubble bit mailers being a little difficult. There we go. All right, so go trash away here. We have some cards. Ninety tops, Ruben Sierra. I'm pretty sure that's not what I bid on. That has to be a little extra, extra. Oh, okay. I see what we have here. All right. So, this is PC. Let's see what we have. So, of course, Ruben here is kind of a decoy card here. I know that now. And Dwight Gooden decoy. So we have Frank Thomas, Superstars on Canvas. We have this Electric Diamond, Upper Deck, Frank Thomas. We have On Deck, uh, Insert. Now I believe that's from 93, Upper Deck. We have Cracker Jack, I believe this is 2005. And it is 2004. We have this Leaf Cornerstones insert, Robin Ventura, Frank Thomas, that is from 95. Surprisingly, it's not numbered, pretty much everything was numbered. Uh, 95, 96 Fleer Road Warriors, 94 Fleer Team Leaders. This is Holographics uh, Launchers, Frank Thomas insert. 93 Upper Deck uh, Clutch Performers, 94 Leaf Statistical Standouts, 93 Upper Deck Future Heroes, Frank Thomas, 93 Triple Crown Contenders, Frank Thomas, oh I see one thing that looks really really nice, um, Platinum Power, this is our SP, I think it's 94, 95, we're looking at 95 platinum power ultra notables insert and these beautiful cards uh, run creators from pinnacle this is from 94 so those are really nice looking cards i don't think the uh, camera here is doing it justice and then uh ruben sierra and then these uh <laughs> These, uh, I think these are from 92 Tops. You try to get yourself some Tops Gold cards. Um, man, I forgot about those. Um, uh, so this is uh, IPC Frank Thomas. Um, make sure these are these are the ones I did get off of eBay. Um, we got, what, 15 cards here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... 14, it says 15 on here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 cards. Um, looks like almost everything came to 99 cents, $1.10. This, uh, this one here was $1.76. These were all bids. 99, 99, 99. Total came to 15.73. I don't know how much he charged for shipping. But that almost looks like it was free shipping. So nothing spectacular. These are all Frank Thomas cards I didn't have. As you can see, almost all of them, if not all of them, are inserts. Uh, except for the Cracker Jack one. That was not an insert. 
And then this was a parallel. It has the electric diamond logo up there. Um, so yeah, it looks like he charged 84 cents for shipping. Max combined shipping charge, 296. So this is another one of those things where I say, if someone's going to combine shipping, you know, pick up as much as you can from them. Helps them out. They only have to ship one package for what would be 15 different auctions if every, you know, every single different person got these. So, I don't know if I'd call this a steal, but, I mean, this kind of worked out for me. Frank Thomas, all these inserts, I've had some of them over the years, but I don't believe I have a single one of these. Um, they look pretty good. They came packaged well. Um, so, it, it worked out really good for me. Uh, nothing high value. Of course, you're not going to pay a dollar and get anything high value, but, like I said, some of these cards definitely had some value back in the day. Um, which I guess isn't relevant now, but you know, um, so that's it. Um, anyone have any Frank Thomas's, uh, that I don't have, they want to work out a deal with. I've been a big fan of Frank Thomas since about 94, 93. Um, and just recently really started PC in them. Um, so yeah, um, that's it in this video. Um, don't know if it's an eBay steal, but it's uh, some Frank Thomas's for my PC, and that's always a win. Thanks for watching.